Hi YouTube, this is my second airsoft gun video. Today I'm opening the UK Arms M3181AB. Here's the front of the box, it's for ages 18 and older. Okay, let's open it. Here we go. Okay, first of all, here we have the instructions and the safety manual. I could just do it like this. There's that little hole there. Okay, so here's everything the gun comes with. It comes with a bunch of little six millimeter BBs. It comes with two stocks. This one, and this one that already comes with the gun. It comes with a speed loader, a screwdriver, a grip. I don't know what this piece is, but when I put it together, I'll find out. It comes with two clips, one here and one already in the gun. Some extra pieces in case you want to change things on the gun. And it comes with another barrel in case you want to change the barrel and you, and you don't like this barrel. Okay, so let's put the gun together now. It takes batteries, but I'm not gonna shoot the gun. This gun is nice. It also comes with this stick for unjamming BBs jammed inside your gun. Here's the first stock that comes with the gun. What's cool about these stocks is you can slide out the stocks or slide in the stocks. This stock has a bandolier handle on the bottom. This one doesn't. So I don't think this stock folds out. Um, this gun is really cool because this gun, since it takes batteries, it actually has three different modes. Semi-automatic, which is you can hold down the trigger or pull the trigger, but it only shoots one BB out. Safe is you can't pull the trigger at all. Auto is you can hold down the trigger and the BBs will fly out. Okay. About the clips. To take the clip out, you press this button on the other on the other side. One side's the switches, and on the other side, there's this button. You press it, pull the clip out. Comes with two of them. The clips are actually made out of metal, so the clips are heavy. So yeah. Oh, wrong way. So to put the to put the clips in, to put the clips in, you just. Put them in like that. Here's the speed loader. The speed loader is cool, because if you're using the spring part of the clip, instead, instead of taking a BB, putting it in the spring, you can take the speed loader, just put it like this, and then just keep pressing it and putting BBs in here. And when you're full, just take the speed loader out. There's actually a, a front sight and a rear sight, and the rear sight flips. And the rear sight, you can do this sight, the bigger sight, or this sight, which is smaller, but better aiming. Here are the zooms and stuff. So you can do some zooming stuff here, and some stuff under here. Okay, you can spin this to help to do some other stuff with aiming. For a carrying strap, there's also another one down here for the bandolier. Oh yeah, if you want to unjam your gun, what you do is take this stick, you put it through the barrel, and you mess with the BBs down in the barrel and it'll unjam your BBs. Okay, let's talk about um, this bottom grip. If you want to attach the grip, all you, it's really easy. Just pull this down, slide this in, and that attaches the grip. You want to take it off, do that. Here's attaching the grenade launcher. Yeah, I don't know how to attach the grenade launcher. I'm gonna need data to help with that. Oh yeah, here's the bandolier. And here's another part. I don't know what these are for. I'm gonna need help. Yeah, it's really cool. But I'm used to holding he heavy guns and stuff, so it's not that heavy to me. But without the clip makes it a little bit less heavier. So what did you need me to do? Um, I need help on 
How to attach the grenade launcher. Where's the instructions? Here. And it comes with two clips. Now look at the speed loader. You open it. Never allow children under 18 to operate this gun. Yeah, I'm not shooting it, so I'm not operating it. Just playing with it. Okay, hi YouTube, I'm back. And and here's my whole gun put together. My dad helped me put it together during the night. And yeah, I'm gonna talk about you with some more stuff. So yeah, first I'm gonna talk about the hop up. You just pull this back and you can use this adjusting knob to adjust your hop up. This is your adjusting knob right here. And, and you can turn it forwards and backwards and adjust your hop up. I wanna tell you something I just found out about this stock. Uh, about the stock with the rubber back. So these two screws right here hold, actually aren't just for design. They hold extra BBs in them. So you just twist them like you would twist this one right. You would twist the other one left and then just pull them out. And you can store extra BBs in here just in case you run out of BBs on the, in the battle. It comes with two different mags, high cap, the high cap mag and the low cap mag. The low cap mag um, holds 50 rounds. High, high cap mag holds 300 rounds. Here's how you load the grenade launcher. It might seem pretty confusing, but at first, once you first buy this gun, but if you just watch me, you'll know. There's this little knob right here. You push it forward. Then you push the grenade launcher handle forward. It's easier to show you right here. You see this little handle and this part. Push it down. When those are pushed down, take the grenade launcher handle. You push that forward. There. Now you're gonna see this under it. You're gonna pull this little lever under it back. Pull it back, and this will pop out. You're gonna pull this out, and you're gonna see this little hole here. This holds 10 BBs in it. That's, that's how to load the grenade launcher. When you fill up your 10 BBs, you put the square in first, and then just close it in there, and then you push this back. And that's how to load it. And it, the grenade launcher has a BB sized hole and it only shoots BBs. So it doesn't really shoot grenades. So it's only kind of like a shotgun instead of grenade launcher, but it looks like a grenade launcher. So I finally found out what this is for. You take the screwdriver it comes with and undo these four screws. And then the two ends will pop off. You put your batteries in there, you screw it back together. Then you can screw on the top rail mount. That, that's just one of the ways to store the batteries. I don't want to use the rail mounts, so there's three other ways to store the battery. The way I use is you open the front of the grenade launcher, take this wire, connect it to the batteries, and stuff it in here. That's the way I use it. But um, it's, the battery's not in here right now because it's over at the wall over there, charging. Now when the battery's in here, you just put it back like that. The other two ways is, one of them, you open the top barrel and you can stuff it in the barrel. I tried that earlier, but it was really hard to stuff in, so I just put in the grenade launcher, which is the easiest way for me. Or it only works with this stock. You open the back of the stock and you can put the batteries in there. Now, if you're wondering about charging the batteries, you take the wall charger and the battery. You take the two plugs and connect them together then it's charging. The first time you charge the batteries, it takes 12 hours to charge. The second time, and then all the other times, it takes set, it takes seven to eight hours to charge. I'm gonna put the magazine in. I found out about these two pieces, what they do. If you don't want the grenade launcher, or 
You don't want the under barrel with the rail on it. If you just want a big hand grip there, you want nothing, you, want, you don't want the grenade launcher or the hand grip there. What you can do is take these two pieces. You can, then you attach them to the tactical rail and it's just one hand grip. If you, don't, if you don't like any of the other stuff, it's just one hand grip. Yeah, that's what these pieces are for. These two pieces are if you don't like this barrel, if you want another barrel. But the, this barrel has a tactical rail, these two don't. So yeah, but this is just if you want a different barrel. You can unscrew the barrel and switch all that stuff. One more thing I wanna tell you. Here's the three point sling mount. It was really confusing for me to try to figure out how to attach the sling mount and really confusing for my dad. So my dad found out his own, made up his own way to attach, to attach the three point sling mount. I attached the sling mount in my way, how, how my dad wanted it. So yeah, you go that, like that and just do that. I wanna tell you about two more things. These two screws, if you're wondering what they're doing right there, you unscrew them and you can take the top off and just use the tactical rail up here to adjust the sights. If you, wanna, if you wanna adjust this sight, left or right, you use this dial right here and turn it to adjust the sight left and right. Then there's this bottom dial right here. If you wanna adjust the sight up and down, you use the bottom dial to adjust it up and down. And I'm gonna show you what kind of noise it makes when it shoots. So the battery's filled up now. And let me turn it to semi. This is, this is the sound it makes. Let me hold it and show you. So it'll be like. That's what it sounds make on semi. Now I'm gonna show you auto. So here we'll switch it to auto. And then hold it. Okay. Now I wanna show you the grenade launcher. Put my hand here. Okay, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, um, so I guess that's the end of the video. So bye YouTube, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Peace out.